if you do not know i do have a training class if they're not coming back you'd want to reach out and ask them if there's anything you need to improve connect i always tell my students connect is like airtime you get another fourth rating please do make sure you increase your pricing it took me a whole year to even get one invite on my upwork account hey there so welcome back to another earning online video how you're able to set up your account how you're able to make money working with upwork online so first of all if you're new here and you don't know what i do i am a lifestyle content creator i do lifestyle i do vlogs mostly sit downs um earning online videos that's what i do so please do subscribe if you're new here if you've not subscribed kindly do subscribe if you've not liked the video kindly do that comment and also share so let's get started so in today's video guys we're going to cover how to start off with upwork as a beginner um certain things or certain things you need to understand and know before you are able to even apply for jobs on upwork before you're able to approach clients on upwork there are certain things you need to understand before you join the platform you need to understand upwork is an account where clients meet um writers you as a writer you go apply for jobs on upwork and um the clients will then hire you as the writer so basically people earn money from upwork and um they're able to select their different niche because upwork is a whole big platform disclaimer this video is not sponsored by upwork none of my earning online videos or freelancing videos have been sponsored um i really do them because i love to do this session and for this particular session we'll be covering how to start off with upwork so comment down below because i want to do another video on how to create your proposal and how to set up your profile so comment down below and tell me would you want to watch it would you want to see and are you interested because i'll do that on the next video so before you even think about creating an upwork account one thing you need to understand is what are you good at are you good at typing are you good at editing are you good what are you good at you know you need to understand that and be able to input it in your profile so once you discover what you're good at or what you love to do you'll be able to now create an account and then set up your profile the way you want it you indicate the certain things you need to indicate there so you can be able to see that different um freelancers earn differently so people have different hourly rates and it all begins you all have to start at the bottom to be honest although it doesn't mean that since you're a beginner you have to start at the bottom no you can start um at whatever stage you feel you're comfortable with but as for me i always tell my students so that brings us to another topic if you do not know i do have a training class i do train people on how to um write online on how to do content writing and article writing so if you'd want to enroll to my training class kindly do email me on this email it's always in my description as well um reach out and we'll be able to communicate more information it's 2000 kenyan shillings for two weeks uh, and don't worry about the timing i do work on my students timing um if you're available during the day i uh, will do it if you're available during the night we we'll also do it i do work with your timing i'm very very flexible with that and another benefit um of the training class is the fact that it's a one-on-one -on -one. i don't just send notes to you and um tell you to read and then that's it no we're able to sit down um do have a virtual call um it's virtually so you're able to communicate one-on-one -on -one. it's like a video call um we do communicate and um i do allow you to ask me any question at any point and i'll answer you directly so that's one of the benefits you can be able to have a one-on-one -on -one session with me alone so we'll be able to discuss both of us whatever you want um set up help you set up your account as well so it really it really involves a lot so if you'd want to enroll reach out to my email and leave it in my description what you're good at are you good at article writing are you good at content writing are you good at editing so you need to find your niche even if you are bad in everything you do you at least need to find one thing you're perfect at so that you'll be able to focus on that you know you don't want to come out um using the account and you're all over because once you don't do something good or good work at a spe with a specific niche your clients will not come back so you need to understand and find the one thing that you're very comfortable with and you're very good at so different writers and different online as you can see these particular freelancers um all of them have different hourly rates and um, most of them are able to 
select how much they're able to earn so that's the benefit of working online or freelancing you're the one who decides how much you want to get paid um depending on how your profile looks but one thing i always tell my students is if you are new or if you're a beginner at this it's way better if you start off placing a lower amount don't undercharge yourself also but at least start um with a very low amount because the people who are experts in the field will not take that kind of amount and um remember your profile is new you don't have any work history you don't have any ratings like i remember the first time i was able to work with upwork my profile was very new it didn't have anything i had to literally um create everything there write my education level right um my work experience employment history like I had to literally create everything and I didn't have any work feedback, you know, I didn't have any rating and getting jobs was not very easy. Though for me, I can't say I was a bit lucky because I had a, an idea of what I was supposed to do. So once I started off with Upwork, I, really, I knew what I wanted to do. I was very, very discreet with that. I knew what I really wanted to do on the platform. So I started off directly with it and um, I started applying for jobs that same day I got my Upwork account and on that same night, I actually won uh, one proposal, although it was under charging, it was under paying me. Um, I really think the client um, under charged me. Um, although it was under paying me, I was so excited because at least I had one rating. You know, getting a rating on Upwork is the biggest hassle. It's very difficult getting um, even a job on Upwork. It's not impossible, but it's very hard, especially if you don't know what you're doing, especially if you don't know how to set up your profile. It's going to be very difficult for you. There's so much involved in getting a job, so you need to work on each and everything in your account. You can see different freelancers have different uh, profile and how they uh, it appears. So different people earn hourly rate differently. So you as a beginner, you need to work on fixed projects first of all because um, the hourly rate is very important if you're being found. If you're not being found, um, that won't be seen by clients. So the benefit of working with Upwork is the fact that you're able to apply for the jobs yourself. So unlike other platform where you set up your profile and just wait for clients to reach out, this one is a bit different because you're able to apply for these jobs, you're able to reach out to the clients. So the clients will be able to see your proposal and consider you whether you're good at it or not. So um, your proposal is very important. So you need to be able to send in that as well. So once you've set up your profile and you've indicated what you're good at, um, you'll also have to indicate your hourly rate. So different people earn differently or different people have different hourly rates. Uh, some people, it ranges from at the least, I think, $10 or $5 around there. And um, the highest now depends on how good of an expert you are. There's $20, there's $40, there's $60, $50, 100 it all depends. That's the hourly rate. So as an expert, of course, people earn a lot of money. They will actually place a very high hourly rate if you're very good at it. So personally, I like talking about Upwork because I have first-hand experience on it. I have worked on the platform for years. So once you are able to get the platform, you're, you'd want to be searchable. So you'd want to appear on the search tab of different um, brands because different clients are able to hire you so once a client types in for example um typing jobs once they're able to um do that there are different accounts that will appear there and um they'll be able to select the best person or the best freelancer so different these people who are appearing at the top these people have set up the account very well. They've optimized it and that's what they're good at. They've indicated that in their skills. They've indicated that in their bio. So the writers or the, or the clients, the clients will be able to select um, the best person there and they'll be able to check the hourly rate of, as well. So when you're starting off with Upwork, you need to work on this as well. You need to be able to set up a good hourly rate. You don't want to overprice yourself. And you don't want to also underprice yourself. Because when you underprice yourself, it gives the client an impression of who you are. And if you're really good at it, you know, they'll be able to, they'll feel like they doubt you because you've really literally underpriced yourself. Um, if you overprice yourself as well, it's going to be very difficult for a client to hire you because they'll feel like you're charging way too more than what they're able to see on their profile. Because before a client hires you, they can be able to see your profile, they can be able to see your work history testimonials, employment history, education level, and your bio description. They'll be able to see all that. So you want to appear in the search tab of your clients. So 
before you get to that point where you get invites it's very difficult like i remember for me it took me a whole year to even get one invite on my upwork account i worked i was applying for jobs um constantly very consistently so you need to be able to do that because when you are on upwork more often clients will find you very easily so you need to be able to apply on more jobs you need to be able to be able to apply for more jobs there so once you appear you appear very easily once clients are looking maybe for online typing jobs or for editing jobs um you'll get so many invites so you want to do appear there because once you appear there you'll be you'll be getting invites um for me it took a whole year before i actually got my very first invite but the moment i got the first invite i was getting invites every single day so many invites every single day and it was very easy for me because once you get invites you don't have to apply for these jobs you know the invites come in you apply for them you accept the invite and then they hire you they might or might not hire you but chances are very high they'll hire you they've invited you before they invite you they check your profile they check your work history your feedbacks and all that so i remember i used to get invites on the um i think almost getting to the second year of using upwork and the moment i got the invites i felt like i actually felt the growth of my account because um i i wasn't applying to jobs as much like i can't even remember the last time i applied for jobs on my account i constantly get invites so it's very very nice when you're able to do that you get to that point you need to be able to set up your niche very clearly you need to be able to apply for these jobs constantly work on your proposal work on how you communicate you know if you don't communicate very well with these clients it's going to be very very hard for you to even approach them because once you get the invite and then how you communicate with the client you know showing them your samples your samples of previously done work if you're not able to provide all that the client might not hire you they might not give you the opportunity or the job so different freelancers actually do um work on that and different people apply to the same job so the job you've applied for other people have applied as well so what's going to be very unique about you what, what's the one thing you do better or what's the one thing you're good at so if you're good at communicating with your client uh, the client will be very pleased with you and they might consider hiring you so um please do show them that you're capable convince the client and show them that you're able to do this work you can even show samples as for me i always show samples on every job i apply i always send previously done work so that the client can be able to see that i am not only saying i'm good at it but i'm showing an example i'm showing you that i have done this before and i'm very good at it these are some of the things you need to work on so for app work um you need to really consider how much you charge hourly and how much you are um charging on a fixed price so on my training class i do also teach you that how you're able to price yourself um because it really really matters you might find yourself not getting any job um because of what you've indicated um on your hourly rate or what you indicate when you're applying for the job for the fixed project so fixed price project so you need to really really consider that so once your account appears on the google search term you're literally not going to be applying for jobs so that's one thing most people hope for once you appear there you're able to um appear on other clients um such tab as well and it's going to be very easy for you to get the job so for this job success code the percentage that appears on your profile don't worry about that one that one only appears once you're able to get hired or once you get a feedback or a rating from your client um you'll be able to have the job success code there so always make sure you do perfect work because you want to maintain your success score above 90%. So that's one of the benefits of having a good profile. Clients will be able to hire you very easily because your profile looks very nice. So make sure you're able to do perfect work. Whatever job you get, do it like you're doing it like do it like it's the last job you're going to work on on Apple platform because you want to please your client. You want this client to keep on coming back. So that's one benefit as well of working with Upwork. I want you to do a very nice work on the platform. Clients will always come back and they'll want to work with you over and over and over again. So make sure you have recurring clients. If you don't have if your clients are not coming back, then there's something you're doing wrong. There's something you're doing wrong and mostly it's the work you've sent in. Maybe they were not pleased with it. So you want to go back and ask your client. If they're not coming back, you'd want to reach out and ask them if there's anything you need to improve or maybe there's something you did wrong. So you'd want to do that so that you'd be able to improve yourself on the on working with another client as well. 
so once you specify it so one thing about upwork you need to narrow down what you do you can have a vast um knowledge on what you want to do as well so but you need to be good in at least two or three things you know be good in at least two or three things you'll be able to um get job easily on the platform once you get your first rating um you get your second rating you get the third rating you get another fourth rating please do make sure you increase your price increase with time don't just stay there forever you want to keep on improving you want to keep on growing because if you get underpaid honestly you there'll be lack of motivation you'd feel like you're working too hard and you're earning very little so you'd want to increase how much you charge or how much you earn on the platform so please do make sure you constantly increase your price um constantly also raise your fee or how much you charge on upper platform there's something called connect so um connect i always tell my students connect is like airtime i think that's the um i think that's the simpler way of explaining it um on upwork you cannot be able to apply for jobs without having connect the same way you can't be able to call somebody without airtime it's the same thing so connect usually when you open a new upwork account you're given free connect and then later on when you um finish them you know for every job you apply the job range there's some jobs that take one connect others two ranging from one to uh, around six um connect it really depends on how much connects you use for one job so once you apply constantly always make sure you're on the platform constantly applying for jobs so once you've now used up your connect so how will you purchase the other connects you know how will you add more connect so either if you've maybe applied for jobs and you got at least one or two jobs um and then they pay you you can be able to use your balance to purchase more connects you can fix your card and load money in the card and then purchase using the card so those are some of the options you're able to um, be able to top up your connect because you can't be able to apply for jobs without the connect so i remember for me um i was lucky enough because when my account was new i had free connects of course you are given um before you are give you're being given 20 free connects right now i actually saw they give out 50 free connects so that's a plus that's actually a plus because that means you're given opportunities to apply for more jobs um and you're given opportunities to even get your first client so remember for me i got the 20 free connects and within those 20 free connects i got a job although it was underpaying me but the balance i got there i just topped up more connects i didn't even withdraw the money i just topped up i just um i just bought more connects and continued applying and two days later i got another job is it one day or two days later one day or two days later i got another job paying me 50 dollars so that was how my journey started and how i created my platform and how i was able to get all the ratings i have on my profile so please do check out for more of these um earning online videos so remember upwork is a platform for everyone it doesn't mean that since you're a beginner you can't be able to work on this platform it's for everyone anyone can do it anywhere in the world as long as you have good internet you have a laptop you're free to you're able to do it you're able to create create an account you're able to actually work on your account so everyone can do it comment down below if you'd want me to do another video of earning online um because i really do enjoy such kinds of um, video so i do have a playlist as well of earning online i have done several videos on my channel so please do check out my other earning video or earning online playlist um, I have so many videos there. You'll be able to check out and understand each and everything I've been talking about. So please do subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe, like the video, comment something, and also share. Let me see you in the next video. Bye, guys.